Hey guys, welcome to Quinian's Budget Crafts. Let's go ahead and make that wooden dice tower. I'm just using two cigar boxes for this one. I removed the lid and the bottom from one of them and then cut the bottom part so that it'll fit back inside the leftover frame. Then I cut a section out of one side of it so that it'll fit over another cigar box like this. Take the lid of your tower portion and mark a line on the bottom of it, whatever the thickness of the floor is going to be. Then mark a half circle arch shape around for the uh, dice to exit from, and of course we'll need a hole on top for the dice to go into. For that top hole, you could drill four holes in a square and cut that out with a jigsaw, but I have a hole saw, so I'm just going to go ahead and use that. Just find the center of the top and drill through it. Once you're all done, take a file to the edge of the hole to clean it up. This file here is a chainsaw file that's so really super aggressive, and then you can go back in and smooth it out with some sandpaper. And don't forget to smooth over the inside of the hole while you're at it. You wouldn't want any little fingers to find a splinter. Now you can go ahead and cut that little tab off of the bottom that you marked, and cut out the half circle too. The easiest way to cut out a half circle like this is to just cut straight lines into it repeatedly and chip away chunks of it. Then you can go back in with the Dremel and clean up the shape. While I'm shaping this, just a quick reminder that this channel only exists thanks to the help of patrons and your support. If you guys wanted to support the channel, you can jump over on Patreon for just a dollar or a higher tier if you want to tell me what to build. I've also got the Etsy store with the rollers and the Amazon affiliate links on my page with the stuff that I like to use. There's a few options available. Anyway, once that's all shaped, go ahead and clean it up with the files and sandpaper like before. Now you're going to need a ramp to make the dice come out. For that, I'm just using a piece of leftover plywood from the cigar box lid. Just cut it out the right size and bevel the edges so that it'll fit at an angle and flat against the wall and the floor. That little piece that we trimmed off earlier, we can go ahead and glue that back on. For the mechanism to make the dice roll, I went with the Plinko system like before, but that didn't really work out because I accidentally drilled through the back of the box, but whatever, it'll be fine. I did go ahead and stain it at this point though. The stain is a dark walnut, and I got it super cheap because it has turned into jelly. Normally that's a bad thing for stains, but here it's actually really helpful. When you stain plywood, it doesn't look very good because of the grain pattern on it. But if the stain you're using is jelly and you're using a stiff chip brush, you can use that to make fake wood grain. Because those pegs didn't work out, but I had drilled holes in the back of the box, I went ahead and drilled more holes all the way around to make it look like a giant T6. Some of the holes ended up a little bit off center, but it'll be fine. You can just file them a little bit bigger to straighten them out. Just take a few more pieces of plywood and make a couple more ramps. Put one on top facing the back of the box and another below that facing the front of the box. Then the dice will bounce off of the front wall and down to the first ramp you made. Once you're done drilling and modifying and everything, go ahead and wipe everything down with some alcohol to clean the dust off and clear coat it. You could use one of the spray-ons, but I'm going to use some of the wipe-on poly. Just be careful with wipe-on poly because if you've painted a design on here, the wipe-on poly will dissolve the paint. So seal any designs you did first. Once everything is dry, you can go through and coat everything with felt, or leave it a nice natural wood, whichever you prefer. I do like the felt though, because it helps to deaden the sound a little bit. This is the self-adhesive red felt I've used before, but if you're using a different felt, you can make it stick with some Super 77. You can attach the ramps with some hot glue. I've put a little peg under it to help give it some more support for when the dice hit it. You just glue the ramp on like you would anything else and then fill the gap underneath it with a little bit of hot glue to bulk it up. Or you could also use liquid nails or a silicone caulking if you wanted to. For attaching the tray portion to the tower, just drill a couple of little holes and glue some nails into the hole. And then pre-drill the nail holes into the tower portion and you can just squish it all together. I used Gorilla Glue on my joints, but this stuff does expand so be careful not to use too much. And there it is all together. Looking pretty good. Somehow I did get the top edge a little crooked. It's easy to fix that with some sandpaper and restain, but that's what it looks like all put together. Of course, as always, thank you everybody for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.